chill out, relax. Um, we've got a bit of a presentation to do for you beforehand, so you're not going to find out for another 40 minutes or so. So just chill and enjoy what we have to offer. Um, first thing I'd like to say is a massive thank you to everybody. Competitors, you have done one of the most amazing jobs I've ever, 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 ever seen. Thank you to the college, Claire in particular, don't know where she is, up there, you've been fantastic. You've been running around for us all day, so thank you so, so much. The college have also provided two fabulous models that we've been working on backstage, a fabulous makeup artist, the food, I think you'd all agree, was beautiful as well. Another thank you to the four judges. I'm going to do the awkward thing of getting you to stand up for me. Stand up, can we all give the judges a round of applause as well, please? So we've had Josh from Vice Lady, from Anna from Mark Anthony, Nessie Sanchez from Hot, and Karen from Even Go Ride. Thank you so, so much. They've had a hard job. They've had a very hard job today, I'm not going to lie. And um, I think whenever we come down south, the standards are just incredible. I shouldn't say it, but they are absolutely incredible. So, what have you guys done so far? What have you been looking at? So far, you've done your photographic heat. The fact that you even produced one of the highest standards of photographic heats you've ever seen has been incredible as well. So what you need to do with your photographs, put them into your portfolio. Because in all honesty, I don't know any other students apart from you guys that have entered that even start building a portfolio for themselves. So you've done a great job even doing that. Then what we're going to be looking at is the final. So, what have you done today? How can you step it up a mark for the final? Look at your final look, look at your model, look at your makeup, look at your colour, look at your cut. How can you take it that little bit further? How can you get it to the standards of the final? During the final, it's going to work exactly the same as what today has worked. So all of the technical, all of the cutting, everything is going to get done beforehand. You're then going to have an hour to do all of the styling. Now, lecturers, tutors, you know today you had like a bit of an hour kind of floating around, you didn't really do too much, kind of get anxious, waiting for your competitor. So during the final, what we're going to do is pop you in another room and you're actually going to have the chance to play with all of the new IV products. Try them on your own hair, use them, work them, get to feel them. So you're going to have something to do for that hour as well. So guys, that do get through the five finalists today. How can you step it up a mark? Start thinking that now. If you want to spend some time afterwards, have a quick chat with the judge. Ask them, how can I take my look that little bit further? The prizes. So, not only do you get £1,000 worth of education vouchers, which is something in itself, I think the main thing you're going to get from winning exposure is the fact that you get to shadow one of our guest artists behind the scenes at Trend Vision. Now, someone who won two years ago? Now, she entered exposure. She won, she got through to the final. Her look was beautiful. The year after, she entered Trend Vision and she actually got through to the regional finals. Because of everything that she learned through exposure, through the competition, through the photographic heat, and understanding how to work herself in a model, she got through to Trend Vision to the regionals which is just incredible. Apart from that, you're also going to get £500 worth of vouchers to spend on a toolkit to start building up more of your portfolio as well. So I think it's about time that we see all of your models together because the judges actually got all your models to stand one by one and it looked incredible. So get your cameras ready. Get your phones ready. Let's have a little look.
you actually get to see the pure talent that is flowing through this room right now. So think about how much the hairdressing industry has changed. Even in the last five years, it's changed so, so much. I think about when I was at college, I don't even want to think about when I was at college, I was a horrendous student. Um, all I really had to do was my normal cuts, do a few highlights, do a little bit of this, do an all over tint, a global application as such. And what we're expected of now as hairdressers is like another level. It's like we have to be beauty coaches as such. We have to look at people's skin tone, face shape. We have to read our client. We have to speak to our client. We have to get so much information out of them and customise everything that we do for them. So let's take a little look at a video that just shows how far the hairdressing industry has come. Now, the spring summer collection this year has actually been really interesting. It's not like your normal, typical spring summer, seeing like your pastel colours, seeing your lighter pinks and blues and greens and airy fairy. It's been about stripping everything back and looking at colour in like its purest, purest tone. Um, one thing I'd say is everything has become really false, really fake. Like, even the colour, people are going so, 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 so strong. And I think sometimes all you have to do is just bring it back to its natural, distilled look. If you go to the shops these days, 
I'm going into Topshop at the weekend. And there was a whole area that was just white. And I looked at it and I was so intrigued by it. And the reason being was even though it was all white, everything had different textures. So some of the materials had like a little bit of cross hatching to it. Some of it had like a bit of the law feeling to it. Some was really silky, some was really chiffon. And wearing all of this pure white colour but with different texture is just beautiful. And we're going to start seeing that a lot with the hairdressing industry as well. The other thing is lots of shapes, like stronger, stronger shapes. So we're talking, when you see skirts, they have like a stronger feel to them and they're, quite, they're accentuating the way that someone should be. They're pulling you in at the hips, the waist, sorry. Pulling you in at the waist, giving you a bit of hip and it's making everything look softer and more feminine. from Francesco Group, and we've also had um, April, one of our Weller Technicians. Now, not only have they done the spring summer model for you, which is stunning, and you just see the whole purity that I was talking about, they've also given you a tiny little sneak peek into the autumn winter collection. So you're going to see two models and a slight bit of work being done. But let's just hear a little bit more from Francesco Group. Please, 
let's have your hair for the day. Um, and they've been absolutely amazing. So a uh, big thank you to Grace and Rosie. So <laughs> Um, okay, so I'm just going to start and do a very, very quick, I've got a boy or something, you just want to know who's one. Okay, I'm just going to do a very, very quick technique, which kind of fits in, depending on how distressed you want to make it, to the autumn, winter, or the spring, summer. And it's following on from the class. We all know class have been around, and I think they still will be, um, but this is doing a knot technique. So very, very simple, very, very quick. And I'm just going to pass you on to April, who's going to kindly tell us all about the colour work she's been doing. Good afternoon. Um, just as Nia was saying, we're talking about hair being beautiful. So, on the roots, Rosie's natural hair is actually a really nice colour as it was, but obviously we couldn't leave it like that. Um, so, we did a nice colour touch. Kept it simple, we used 6 strokes 7 1, dark blonde and um, brunette ash. And in the end, we've used our new magma technique. So, this whole balayage, ombre, Everyone's loving it right now. Oh, when's it going to go? I've got to be honest, it's kind of like, <laughs> come on. Go on. Very stretchy. It's so much easier than one. I know. I know. Exactly. I'm not a technician, so I'm trying I to. I think it's great for the younger clientele as well, because people that have not really done too much foil work, they're like, brilliant. Let's do some balayage, because it's the latest thing out. And we don't have to worry about this old school kind of foiling technique anymore. Um, so with the new magma, through the end we've used some nice kind of earthy, rich, you'll see underneath as Mia's pulling it up here, we worked quite heavily underneath with the stroke seven, stroke seven five, stroke seven three, which is a kind of gold and brunette tones. Um, but again, we didn't use foil with it, we just used it simply freehand with the Felix peroxide so that we don't have to worry about any bleeding or um, any swelling, and as you can see, we've still got the nice shine from the colour touch on the top, but we've also got the nice um, rich tones coming underneath there. And is this a kind of trend that you sort of see last year? I think kind of these kind of tones really kind of getting away from like the really warm reds or sort of. Well, I mean, we've still got the red magma, and we've still got the rich, I would say, the warmer tones, but it's more of a a kind of rustic look now, rather than it being too vibrant and quite 90s looking. Um, yeah, hopefully we'll stay away from that. <laughs> okay guys, I'm just going to talk a little bit. Obviously, as you can see, I knotted my first two pieces of hair twice, and that just secures it. You know, I'm not being too rigid about this section, because if anything, I think the more guts your hair's got, you know, it's a few days old, brilliant, great for festivals, great for perhaps some more relaxed it's such a quick technique, it's, it's so effective at the same time. Actually on the shoot we've kind of put one sort of through the front and giving it lots and lots of texture. Um, and for me, I'm kind of, I don't know, I'm getting older and getting less patient, but I like to do these techniques that are effective. Yeah, um, you know, it's just some there, uh, back and forth, I always like a short, sharp technique that's effective. And this time we just kind of fix it. And then the day <coughs> Yeah, so the colour touch has made it a bit soft for me, which is not so great, but hopefully the magma and some hair spruce at the ends has roughed it up a bit for you. Yeah, yeah, thanks for putting the straights down a little bit. This would be lovely for a bride, even if it was a bit messy, having a bit left out. Beautiful. Right, mm -hmm. So how are you lecturers feeling? Is this like the first day you could go to school and it's like you're sitting there more nervous than the actual students themselves? Yeah? <laughs> Yeah, you can really see that 
So quick, so that can be done in like two minutes. So there's no excuse for anybody doing it up to the Absolutely. Can I get you more? Because I don't forget. I'm sorry, you guys are the worst. <laughs> <laughs> So you can feel a bit sick, whatever you want, to see it a bit more.
Thank you. Congratulations to all of you. So what I'm going to do now is invite you all on stage one by one. You're going to have a certificate here. Again, keep holding that. That's like gold dust and you've got a fabulous goodie bag as well. So one more massive round of applause for everybody here.
Sean Draper. And Amy Lewis. Danielle Cooper.
So, from us at Weller, a massive, massive thank you to everyone. Thank you for the inspiration for today. Thank you to Mia. Kelly has been like running the show the whole of the four that we've done. We've had Emma, who's the best to host, and also to Paul for putting everything together. You guys, the judges, taking time out of your very, very busy columns and diaries. Now, the models and the competitors are going to be up here to take some more pictures. The judges are going to stay around for a few more minutes, so please come down and ask questions as well. Thank you so much, and I hope everyone has a fabulous journey home. Thank you.